one dollar now is one thousand naira. In that zoo gone and killed. The government of Fulani. Fulani are right. They are in power. Okay. That is why you can see why the shenanigans is happening. People are crying every single day. No food. No food, no water. Why they are about to go and throw a truck of money in a trash? In a because money now is I will tell you people what happened to this man. Why is it like this? Now you see the mess that we are in. You know, when I'm telling you all this, some of you don't even want to understand what I'm talking about. But I always bring reality to us. Keep on watching it. Keep on watching it. Why are going to do something? Why are are going to do then you have to buckle your belt and embark on this journey that we all be a fan restoration for you. It's over. I will ask him all these things. And some people are there saying all these things they don't want to say anything. All right, great people. All right, freedom fighters. I know some of you won't understand this video that we just uh, finished watching. That is why I'm here to explain more better. And I'm going to tell you people a lot of things that you don't know about Fulanese. Sometimes people will come and begin to ask me, why do you so much talk about Fulanese? I'm talking about Fulanese because the idiocy in Fulanese and the agenda of Fulanese, which is the movement of jihadism, to make you slave forever. Conquest called holy war. You see, they can never stop. That is why today in that contraption called Daminibu Zoo, nothing is working. No good road, no good water, no factory, no hospital. Everything is, 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 is nonsense, catastrophic in that contraption. Because of the system of Fulanese. The truck that we just finished seeing or watching is a truck of money. Your Naira. This money is useless. Do you know the reason why? Because the Fulanese believe in fiddle system. They don't want to expand their hand and help their own people. They want to stay in power as they are trying their best to conquer every indigenous people they find in that contraption. They are still using their own people. That is why today, the Fulanis are controlling everything in that contraption from beginning to the end. But at the same time, when you go to Fulani land, you will see their kids running around on the street. They will be running around on the street begging they call them Alamajiri, 
and you know that the Fulanis are the controller of Nigeria. Have you ever asked yourself that question? Because the Fulanis, they operate with the feudal system. They want to have two or three people to be on the top and begin to use the rest of them. That is why today in northern part of Nigeria, you can find more than seven terrorist groups. Because all these people, they don't have a family. They are under one allergy of Dawora or Arau, allergy of Castina or allergy of uh, Kanu. They are under that allergy. And allergy now will be telling them what to do. That is why you see this money today is useless. Because of Fulani has no thinkers. They don't have inability to reason. They will keep on stolen money from you people and they cannot be able to bank this money because there is no how they can defend the money. Now what they are doing now, they will go and carry the money and put it in one house or one room, cover it and lock it up. Instead of them to bring the money out to, to people, to use it to build roads, to build hospital, to build factory for people to be working, to, for people to be able to work. They will not. They will pack all this money, go and lock the money in one room. There is no air coming. There is no air going. There is no how the money can stay. And when the money stay long time, the money will decay and now become useless. Now are you seeing a truck of money? That this truck of money we are seeing today, this is a high currency. This is a, a I mean the the bigger notes, not a five five naira. This is thousand thousand naira. The bigger note in that contraption, a full loaded truck or trailer of money that they are about now to go and put in a trash. Why people are dying in hunger every single day. People are dying because of hunger. Why some Fulanis are packing money? Because they cannot defend this money. That is why you see they are packing the money inside the room and they cannot use the money because the one that they have, they never finish using it. Talk less of the one they have already packed in one room or in a one building. You see how they are useless in your money. Naira. Do you see how Fulani want to destroy everything in that contraption? And the another money you are seeing that I put the picture, this is the latest one. They are now the discovering money on the ground. Now money has turned to cassava or a yam. You can uproot. They are now uprooting money from the ground. The money they have, they are, they are they buried. You see, I want you people to understand this. Dangote is involved. And the bank of Dangote have fooled. There is no how Dangote can take all this money because Dangote is the bank of Fulani people. You see, that is why you are seeing all these shenanigans happening every day. This truck of money that you, you, we just saw is not only that. We have many of them that they never show you. But unfortunately, these people now we are angry that they are going to throw away a money that have already decayed. They cannot be able to use it again. They were angry. So all this money we are there, hidden in a warm room, why people are dying in hunger every single day. Now do you begin to understand and agree with me that the foundation of Nigeria was built on fraud and Nigeria is a lie. Nigerian died in 1966. And the amalgamation have expired. 1914 amalgamation. That is why you are seeing all these shenanigans every single day. People are coming to stole, to root, to, you know, to make you, because Nigeria is a national cake. Nigeria is not a nation. Nigeria is not a country. Fulani understand that quite right. But some people that are coming from, I mean, the Southerners, they don't even have the crew or understand what Fulanis know. This is how they are doing it. Every of their streets, you see their kids roaming around like idiots on the street. 
beggars everywhere upon they are the controller of the resources of that contraption ask yourself that question because of the fiddle system because of the fiddle system that is why today there is many terrorist group because one allergy we go and gather those kids that they has no father they had no they has no mother he will gather them in one hall like thousands of them begin to feed them he will make them see him as a god he will make them see you they will he will make them to see him as he were born he was born to be a rich person why the other are born to be poor and he is a messiah to help them at the same time as he's helping them he will put some ideology of jihadism in them to go out there and kill when you kill that they will give you 75 virgins in heaven this is how they operate and that is what they call fiddle system few people to be on top and the rest of millions of them will be down they now begin to control all of them this is how they be able to have more than eight terrorist group in northern part of nigeria which you cannot see in south because most of South people, they are learned people. No one wants to be under anybody. Nobody you can send to go and kill, he will begin to, I mean, he will start and move and go and just kill. That is what I'm bringing to you all today. I hope you heard it. There is nothing can solve the problem except the bacchanization of that contraption called Daminibuzu. Since Nigeria to exist, disintegration. Biafra is the last bus stop. I greet you all, good day and welcome.